implicit derivation. Here I have a very, very interesting question and many times when my students will read this question, they really get scared and they are really surprised when they see the solution. The question here is, show that whenever a hyperbola where the equation x square minus y square equals to k intersects a hyperbola where the equation x y equals to c, the tangent lines at the points of intersection are perpendicular. So sometimes we use the word orthogonal. So they are perpendicular, right? That's what it is seems to be a very very difficult question and some are even scared to attempt. Now I like you to attempt this problem and find a solution right and let me assure you it is very simple. So read the question once again and solve it. Question is show that whenever a hyperbola with equation x square minus y square equals to k intersects a hyperbola with equation x y equals to c, the tangent line at the points of intersection are perpendicular. Okay, now let me show you the solution. So what I will do here is, I'll find derivative of both the functions side by side, and then we see how to get the answer. Right. So we have one function which is x square minus y square equals to k. Now let's differentiate it with respect to x. So we get d dx of x square minus d dx of y square equals to d dx of k, right? Now derivative for x square, you know, is 2x and derivative of y square is 2y and we'll do chain rule and so we get dy dx. So I'm missing one step here and then this will be 0 and I think it's a good stage to miss such steps. By now you know how to do it, right? Now, so you understand how I got this. Now from here, I need to isolate what dy dx is. So I say, well, dy dx is equal to, so from here I can write dy over dx is equals to, I take it to this side, I'm left with 2x, I divide 2x by 2y, and so I get x over y. Got it? So that's simple. Now on the other side, I get xy equals to c. Now if I differentiate with respect to x, I have to apply the product rule, right? So we have d dx of xy equals to d dx of c, right? Now we'll apply the product rule, which says derivative of this times y. So let me write y times dx over dx plus x times dy over dx equals to derivative of a constant is 0. So this term d, dx over dx is 1, so we get y plus x times dy dx equals to 0. And from here I get dy dx equals to, I take y on this side, so I get minus y divided by x. So what do I get? So as you can see here, the two different functions and their derivatives are quite interesting. Derivative of this is x over y and derivative of this function is negative reciprocal of what it was. Wow. So if we have a point of intersection, right, then x and y values will be same. Correct? So we say at the point of intersection, right? So x, y of this, let's say x1, y1 of this will be equals to whatever that x1, y1 is, right? Of this will be same, right? So let us say the values are a and b, right? So a over b and I'll get slope of, in that case, let it be a and b. So uh, what slope I get? I get slope of negative b over a here, right? And I get a slope of positive a over b here. Now if I multiply these two slopes, I get minus 1, right? That means the lines are perpendicular, right? So that is how we are going to solve this problem. Now the difficulty here is uh, if you start finding points of intersection to start with, then I think you'll spend all your time finding points of intersection 
rather than proving that the slopes will be same. So that is kind of a catch in this problem. So just go about, go ahead with finding dy dx and then see the result. That's the beauty and I hope that's the wow factor in this question. You must have liked it. Thank you.